Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about Cody Stamen versus Damon Blackshear. Cody Stamen, 21 wins, 7 losses, 1 draw, 2 and 3 in his last 5 fights. 35 years old, 5'6", with a 64 and a half inch reach. He also has uh, quite a bit. He's 7, 6, and 1 in the UFC. Only one finish, which I believe is against Eddie Weinman. He has 9 finishes out of his 21 wins. Much more of a decision guy for sure. Has 5 first round finishes, but like I said, only has 1 finish in the UFC. And that is Eddie Weinman. Very old Eddie Weinman. So, lost to Douglas Silva DeAndre by decision. I thought it was much, much closer than a unanim like a unanimous Taylor Lapolis beat him up, used his range, did really, really good work on that one. Uh, Syed Nurmagomedov guillotined him in the first round very early in that round, in that fight. And yeah, he's just, the biggest issue with Stamen is his, his striking is not at the level to where it needs to be to compete with the fighters that he's fighting. Like he doesn't flow as well. He's a wrestler that doesn't really get his takedown, so then he becomes a striker he has like a weird karate stance as well that doesn't really necessarily help him. Damon Blackshear, like I said, 14 wins, 7 losses, 1 draw. He's also on a 2 fight losing streak. He's uh, 5'10", 4 inches taller with a 72.2 inch reach. 30 years old for Damon Blackshear. 11 finishes for Damon Blackshear, 14 wins overall. Has been finished for the first time against Montel Jackson. He was flatlined very quickly. Has six decision losses, five of them unanimous, but also one by split. Also won three unanimous decisions. He has four second round submissions and second round TKOs. I don't think he finishes Cody Stamen, but I do really, really like Damon Blackshear as the fight continue, continues to go on. The only thing that I'm really worried about is Damon Blackshear coming back too soon after being flatlined. It does kind of help that Stamen doesn't have crazy power, but he does tend to throw, especially when he's not able to get his takedowns. He really goes for it sometimes. So that worries me a little bit, but I just think Damon Blackshear flows as a fighter, flows as a striker a little bit better than Cody Stamen. I like Damon Blackshear. I think he gets the job done. As always, guys, subscribe, like, comment. Let me know you're picking. Peace.